The phenomenon of continuous increase in the general level of prices, or inflation, in the economy means that we can buy less and less goods with our money. Inflation causes the purchasing power of our money to be diminished. In times of high inflation, cash and bank deposits are not the best solutions for keeping our savings. For example, if the interest rate on a deposit is 1% and the inflation reaches 10%, then our savings lose their value. Where should we look for a reasonable alternative not to lose? In this episode, you will learn about five groups of assets that can protect your savings against inflation. There are many anti-inflationary assets, but each of them has its own specificity in the ratio of potential reward to risk. Stocks as the basis of a balanced portfolio. Stocks are the most important equity instrument for the transfer of capital. They are financial instruments that are issued by an entity known as a joint stock company. The buyer of shares, called a shareholder, is a co-owner of a company. Despite the dangers to stocks, they still form the basis of a balanced portfolio that protects against inflation in the long term. By choosing the right companies for your investment portfolio, you can not only protect your savings against inflation, but even generate profits. Still, you shouldn't put all your eggs in one basket because there are certain risks. The shorter the prospect, the more careful you should be. Purchasing stocks on the stock exchange must be carefully thought out. It is important to choose companies whose products will become more expensive during inflation. A good solution may be the purchase of shares in raw material and production companies and investing in the agricultural sector, where strong growth trends are observed including in connection with the sanctions imposed through the armed conflict in Ukraine. Another approach is to invest in companies that rely on high-margin products or services in their activities. They include mainly medical services, the IT industry, or energy companies. Inflation-linked bonds Inflation-linked bonds are not only a form of capital protection against price increases, but also have attractive interest rates. Inflation-linked bonds provide some sort of protection for investors against the decline in the value of their invested capital as a result of rising inflation. This means that the face value of the bonds increases with the changing monthly inflation. In a situation of rising inflation, long-term index-linked bonds will be more profitable than short-term and long-term fixed-rate bonds. In the case of government bonds, the investor lends the state money at a certain percentage, the interest rate on short-term bonds is fixed and does not guarantee protection against inflation. However, deciding to invest for four years or more, you can count on variable profits higher than the inflation rate. Additionally, if the interest rate is low in a given period, then investing in inflation-indexed treasury bonds may be an alternative to long-term deposits. It should be emphasized that the benefit is real only in the case of an increase in the inflation level. When it is low, the profit will turn out to be much lower than in the case of fixed-rate bonds. Corporate bonds are another option, but in this case, you have to take into account that they carry the risk of the issuer's insolvency. They are characterized by low liquidity, and with the rate of return quite strongly related to the stock market, it is worth considering whether it would be better to limit yourself to, for example, ETFs for shares. Gold and Other Precious Metals – Works of Art Investments in gold and other precious metals are included in the so-called alternative instruments and may take the form of direct or indirect investment. The first group includes the physical acquisition of gold and other precious metals, such as the purchase of jewelry, collectors, or bullion products. By contrast, indirect investments make it possible to take advantage of the fluctuations in the price of gold without having to physically buy it. There are, for example, ETFs and commodities funds, structured products, gold futures and options, gold certificates, and stocks of gold mining companies. It should be remembered that although in the long term gold placement usually provides a good hedge against inflation, gold may lose in the short term if the rise in inflation is fueled by expectations of rate hikes. Buying gold will not bring us a quick profit. Rare and beautiful things such as art or rare alcohols are investments that require more capital, are expensive to store, but often gain value over time, especially long term. 
real assets are more likely to hold the value of money as long as they are rare, limited, and exclusive. Real estate. Investing in real estate can provide a favorable rate of return over the long term as its value increases in line with rising inflation. There are several ways of investing in real estate. Flipping houses, buy, renovate, and sell. Investing in condo hotels or apartments. Earning money on renting real estate. Investing in commercial real estate in the form of equity crowdfunding or crowd investing. One of the most popular ways is to invest in long-term rental housing. Then, the real estate can immediately bring profit. Investors also focus on short-term rental and flipping, i.e. buying a flat in a good location, renovating it, and selling it for a dozen or so percentage more than they purchased it for. Investing in real estate is one of the safest forms of investing money. Importantly, it is the only financial instrument capable of showing a relatively high rate of return in combination with a high level of security. Investments in Other Currencies Not everyone decides to invest on stock exchanges. While investments in real estate or works of art require relatively large capital, if inflation is accompanied by the depreciation of the national currency, then one of the ways to protect savings is to invest in foreign currencies, such as the U.S. dollar, euro, Swiss franc, British pound, and Japanese yen. Although in practice, the profit may only be minimal because of the value of, for example, the euro may increase in line with the inflation dynamics. It is not bad news anyway, because inflation at least will not consume our savings. Despite the fact that it is a simple and quick trade, it should be remembered that exchange rates are difficult to predict and carry high risk. One decision of the Fed or other central banks can change everything overnight. The changes in the entire economy related to inflation are dynamic. Therefore, when looking for a way to limit the impact of inflation on our savings, we should not limit ourselves to one financial instrument. The best solution is to create a diversified portfolio with room for stocks, bonds, real estate, and raw materials. Only such a portfolio will best protect your savings when inflation rises. Also, Remember that this video is intended for educational purposes only. It is not intended to provide trading or investment advice or any personal recommendations. You should carefully consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses before investing in anything. 